We're at Triple Barrel Social for the $140 tournament to benefit this guy right here, our own one-eyed dealer. Shuffle up a deal. Worried about him, I don't think. We got TV coming. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, what are, are these made up? Are these made up hands? Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, Colin. Yeah. You have Colin. I'm coming for y'all. We're gonna call her. I'm all in and called on the first hand. It's like you're gonna be covered, so you're not on no, that. Damn it. it. Oh my god, he's gonna crippled him and then I'm gonna take it. All right. He's like, even better. Oh, and I'm way ahead. You did not pull Ace King. Oh, you're the worst, Charlie. Keep it low, keep it low. Keep it, keep it lower? Pair the board? Yes. Oh, I had 9, 10, I could have done it. You could have. I know. haven't figured out by now that this tournament is to benefit one of the employees at Triple Barrel Social, you probably have to label your shoes left and right. You're probably about as dumb as a thumb. Our good friend Landon Michael Kirby, great dealer, having a little bit of trouble with his eye, and uh, long story short, for whatever reason, his uh, insurance company is laying an egg. And so we all got together and thought, well, you know what we could do is we could host a tournament that benefits him. And he's such a great guy. He'd do it for us. Let's do it for him. And that's what we're doing here. That's what this is. And so I sat down with Max late reg, try to win myself a little bit of money and also help my buddy in the process. Here I have a pair of fours. No idea what the action was leading up to this point, but doesn't look like a lot of whole money went in. So I'm going to go ahead and make the call with my pair of fours. We're going to go to a river card and hopefully... You know, like a spade doesn't hit or like a high card because you don't want, you know, have to make a tough decision. Well, it's a six. It improves my hand kind of, sort of. It gives me a little bit of a higher pair. So Jackson sixes probably didn't make a difference. If I was winning before, I'm still winning now. I call his bet. He's got a bluff. I win the pot. I drag the pot. The pot comes to me. And I should also mention I have a bounty on this. Uh, it just feels really good to feel loved and to know that I'm supported by so many people and appreciated by all of them. I thought 67. We had 67 runners? Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. I didn't know you were that popular. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Colin, you're up. We wouldn't have a place without people like Kirby. Uh, it would literally be stupid not to do it, uh, both selfishly, um, but also unselfishly, we just love Kirby. Like I said, I entered this tournament kind of late. We're already at the 1,500, 3,000 mark. And here, I'm going to butcher this hand real bad, kind of like how I butchered these graphics and you can't see my hand. Oh, there it is, pocket threes. So I go ahead and check my option after these two fellas limp. We're going to go to a flop three ways, and it's going to come uh, pretty decent there, 369. What I should do here is I should uh, I should do the rope-a-dope strategy. You know, where I check, they bet, and I call. Instead, I do no roping. Instead, I do a lot of doping. I just go all in for 55000 These dudes aren't going to call that giant raise. I need to bring them in. I need to, you know, I don't need necessarily a slow play, but I don't need to make it 54500 you know, put a little feeler raise out there, just make them think like, hey, he's just trying to steal this pot. Nah, it didn't work. They both fold because they have to. And easily plays itself. This this young gentleman under the gun just shoves all in for 41,000. Basically allows me to play perfectly. All I gotta do is look at my hand. If it's a good one, I can play. And if it's not, I can just throw it away. Well, I tell them like, hey, if I have two of these, I looked at the first, the 10 of clubs there. So if I got two of these, I'm gonna call you and I, I do. I got the 10 of hearts. So. We're gonna run one out, and uh, you know, normally I don't run well in these situations, but uh, this is my club, you know, the fix is in. No, I'm kidding, I just happened to win this pot. Get your mind out of the gutter, you scumbags. And here we have an all-in call on the bubble. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say who it is, but Charlie Cole is definitely the bubble boy. <laughs> wow. 
Well, wouldn't this be just a great time to look down at a good one? Excellent start. I'm all in and called. The bounty is in play. Sixes. Oh, I can win. I can win. I can win. Oh, I'll take an eight. Eight. Oh my gosh. Ace, ten, eight. You're the fucking worst. Look at you. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. The anticipation is over. If you love poker and you're looking for a unique place to play with fellow poker enthusiasts, let me introduce you to Triple Barrel Social. It's a brand new club that is for the poker player with memberships that range from daily to annual. Memberships include access to poker games like No Limit Hold'em and Pot Limit Omaha, a variety of stakes for all budgets, as well as on-site amenities, including darts, billboards, snacks, and more. Go to TripleBarrelSocial.com for membership and upcoming tourney details. Triple Barrel Social, ran by players. Players for the players. My buddy Dave is starting a new business called A Speak Easier. You heard me right. If you want more information, check out his Kickstarter. There's a link in the description box below.